Closeness centrality is one of the more popular centrality measures used today. If you're not familiar yet with what a centrality measure is, I encourage you to go check out my video on it. But what I want to show you today is an alternative to degree centrality. If we look at the path graph on five vertices, you'll see that the degrees, while easy to calculate, give us three vertices with the exact same measure. But I think the one in the center is, well, more central, so I think it should have a higher centrality measure. We'll see that using closeness centrality will give us a measure that matches this intuition. The definition of closeness centrality is this. But I'm only going to use this definition as a reference and rather show you closeness centrality through an example. Of course, we'll look at the path on five vertices, and we're actually going to start by calculating the closeness centrality of this first vertex, V1. We want to first start by finding the distance from V1 to every other vertex in the graph. By distance here I mean the smallest number of consecutive edges that connects the two vertices. In our example here, these distances are very easy to find. Once we have these distances, we add them together and put them over 1. This same calculation can be done for every other vertex in the graph. Now if we compare the centrality measures of each vertex, you'll see that that middle one does have the highest centrality measure now. And this is good. This ranking matches my intuition of what I think the most important vertices are. I hope you understand how to calculate closeness centrality now. But I also hope you know this is not the only centrality measure which will give us this ranking. There are a couple other centrality measures worth investigating. We know that degree centrality doesn't do it, but what about cats or between us? If you're not familiar with these, I encourage you to go learn them. Please like and subscribe below, and I will see you next time.